Hey everybody, Jessica here and I'm going to show you how to load and use your Shimmery Swirls um, metallic paint styles. So I've got a document here and I have my styles panel showing. If you don't see it, go to view, or I'm sorry, window and then styles and it'll pop up. And um, the first way I'll show you is really easy. You can just find your folder and it's got patterns, print and web here. So I could just take my style and pull it down to the window here and it will load it up. Or you can go to the upper right, go to your preset manager and make sure that you see styles here and click load. I can also, so I'm going to load up my web styles that way. I'll click open and that will load them all up. Um, and so my styles are loaded. That's all I really need. If you want to load your patterns too, um, you don't have to, but I'll show you later on why this might come in handy. So if you go here, go to patterns and I can click load and then I will find my pattern file and click open. And so that will load them all up in there. So I click done, everything's loaded. And uh, basically we've got the 25 patterns in gold, neutral, silver, and color. And I'm working in a web document, so I'm going to um, use my web ones. And then I just, uh, I've got some text here, so I will try out my web styles. So you can just see there and just click through. If you feel like, um, then you've got neutral styles, you have got silver styles, and then you've got color styles which color always uses the color that's on your object. Um, and not only that, you can double click in the layer style, the pattern overlay, and you can, once you're in there and you've got your pattern overlay, if you just come over here, you can move around the style and find um, you know, a, an effect you like. So it's really just that easy. Uh, let's see here, what else do we have? So that's basically it. Um, same thing with the, like this is a vector object here, so you know I can apply it in the different, um, the styles here, gold, neutral, silver. And say like, um, now it, since this is a text object or this is a vector object, I could easily change the color here, um, like this way. And let's, I'll put a color thing on it. So it's really easy to do. But I will give you a little hint, like say that this was a raster object that's colorized, but you're like afterwards you're like, okay, well I want to make this a different color and I'm using my color styles, but how do I do that? Um, since I can't change the color, like it's a text here or it's a vector, or, uh, a shaped layer here, I can change the color. So what do you do? If you want to do that, it's really easy. Um, you can just double click in the pattern overlay, add another color overlay and um, I'll just make this a pink and then just change this to color or you could probably play around with it in hue if that's about the same. So in case you want to um, change the color manually you can just add a color overlay so it's really easy. So that's um, basically everything. The reason why I wanted to show you um, why I give you the pattern collection as well is because you know, you can change them like this, uh, the styles, it's really easy. But another way to change them is double clicking in the pattern overlay. And since I give you all the patterns, you can um, double, you can click here on the pattern and, you know, use your arrow keys up and down. So it's just one more way to change, uh, change and experiment with the pattern. So it's kind of fun um, and it gives you, some people, it might be a little bit more easy for you rather than, um, you know, you can just fly through this menu here rather than just actually click, 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 click. So um, I just like to give you all the options and not hold anything back from you. So that's basically it. I hope you enjoy using the system and then just message me if you have any questions.